So welcome to my water batteries way, way up on the hill behind my house in the woods here. Let's say that you build a huge reservoir on top of a mountain. And then what you would do is say during off-peak energy hours, power hours, you would say maybe have a river at the bottom, you would pump water up this hill into this reservoir, fill it up. And then during peak hours, when the power is a lot more expensive, you would let the water run out of the reservoir, down the mountain, and through turbines and back into the river, generating power when you need it at, you know, when, when it's peak hours. That's basically a water battery, so it's, a, it's a, just a, a means of storing energy like any battery, except you're using elevation and water and the drop to generate the, the power. That's where the stored energy is. So this is my water battery here. I thought, I gotta build one of these, just for the fun of it just to understand how it all has to happen. So these are two 120 liter garbage cans that I use for my maple syrup season for storing the sap in when we're tapping the trees. So I brought them up here a long ways up the hill. I'm almost at the top of the ridge here, way up in the woods behind my house. I have a garden hose that comes up from down below at the house. It tees off here and goes into both of these uh, garbage cans. Uh, right now they're probably about two thirds full. Uh, I've been monkeying around earlier today, so I've drained off some of the water already. I've done a, several runs on this thing. And uh, what happens is it basically siphons out of these two cans and into that hose and goes down. And I figure based on the pressure I'm getting down there, there's probably about an 80, 90 foot drop from here down to where my turbine station is. And it generates a lot of pressure. It's pretty, it's pretty cool. So let's head down now to the turbine station. So let's take a run through of what we've got here. So we've got the uh, inlet hose coming from up uh, on top of the hill. So that's water coming in. Here's the water from my house. So this one here. Now I've got another two-way valve system here. And what I can do is I can block off my little turbine section here and direct the water from the house up this way and into the hill and fill the, fill the barrels. And then when I'm ready to, you know, generate power from the water battery, water comes down here from the barrels, comes through here, open the valves, and out through my generator. And what I do is the water at the house here, back of the house, is closed, the valves closed. So this is nullified. It's basically blocked off. It's not contributing anything. It's just a, a dead end. So it's just a convenient way for me to tie in and refill, recharge the system, so to speak. Uh, I've got a pressure gauge here. And I did some quick calculations before I bought this guy to figure out the range and I'm happy to report that uh, my old combustion engineering days when I used to do a lot of piping work and stuff like this came in uh, pretty handy. I still had it and I, I nailed it pretty good on the size of that gauge. Uh, I've got a ball valve here just to isolate the gauge and uh, I come through, I've got a, a little gate valve here which is used for throttling so that gives you nice fine control. and. Um, and then we've got the turbine here. And this turbine is just a little turbine off of Amazon. It's rated for 20 volts and not a whole lot of amps. Um, but it does a nice little job. And it wasn't that expensive, pretty inexpensive. So all I ended up buying for this was the, you know, the turbine, uh, this gate valve, the pressure gauge, and pretty much all the other fittings I had laying around, you know, with my supplies that I've, that I've got on hand. There's a little brass coupler here I had to buy. And uh, I just tied it all on the old beat up workmate here. We've got a piece of uh, bungee just to hold it on there. And then uh, the discharge just shoots out onto the grass for now. But um, let's see what we got. So if you trust me, we will let you know right now, if we just test the, the house pressure, it's gonna be about 50 PSI. So I'm not gonna go do that right now. I'm gonna let you trust me on that. But uh, I'm gonna go get a, a multimeter so we can hook this, uh, this up and fire it up and see what kind of uh, volts and amps uh, we can get out of this little unit. It's a lot of fun. Okay, here we go. Back in a sec. Okay, we're back with the multimeter here. And uh, we got a couple alligator clips that we're gonna hook things up with here. So we'll uh, grab our red lead off of our generator here. Our turbine rather, I should say our turbine generator. And uh, we'll tie that into the red lead on the uh, voltmeter here. And then we'll take uh, the black 
And it goes out saying that this is, you know, this is DC coming out of this little turbine, this little generator here. And I said we're doing black, right? Okay. So let's get this set up. I'll, I'll probably have to hold it up so you can see it. But anyways, I'm gonna put it, uh, this is rated for 20 volts. But I found out yesterday for some reason, and every time I get a 20 volts it kicks out, which is which is what I would hope it would do. But yesterday I was testing it and it was going way, way past 20 volts. <laughs> I don't know why. But I'm gonna try and limit it to 20 volts because I don't want to damage the, uh, you know, the circuit in here. So I'm gonna take it to, uh, Where's my volt, volt scale? I'm gonna take it to my volt scale. I'm gonna take it to two, the scale 200 volts on here, which, you know, we're gonna get about 20. So, you know, we'll get a decent little reading out of that. Okay, we are going to fire it up. Um, the gate valve, which is our throttle valve, is closed. We're gonna open up our pressure valve. Okay, and uh, then we're going to uh, open up both of these valves on the T here. So now we're live connected to the hill and you can see we've got pressure already. And we have got, doo -doo -doo. let's see, let's come around, see, get an accurate reading here. Oh my gosh, we've got about uh, 32, 33 PSI. That's a lot of pressure coming down just from uh, from the the head that that hill is generating so that's pretty cool okay moment of truth here let's start cranking open this valve and you might be able to see that at the same time so I'm gonna crank this open let's get some flow going here there's a certain point where this valve sticks there we go that's the sticky point here we go And away we go, we got 13 volts, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18.9, 19.4. So we're generating, we're generating power. We're just under 20 volts. We're gonna leave it there. I'm not gonna take a pass up. But uh, we got a pretty good jet of water coming out here too. And when you really open up, it really sinks. I'll open up a little bit more. I'm going to open it right up. I said I wasn't going to, but I am. It makes a pretty good hum. We're up to 28. 38 volts. Holy moly. And the new thing is just humming. It's shooting the water way out the end here. Okay. Throttle it back. We're going to take it back into that 20 volt range. I want to show you what happens here now. So we're just under 20 volts here. I'm gonna move it to the amp scale and I'm gonna take it down to, uh, oh, 20 milliamps, see what happens, okay? Now listen to what happens to the generator as I do this. Okay, we wanna go even lower. There we go. So we, did you see that? The generator like cut way back. That's because we've loaded it up. It's actually doing a lot more work. I'm gonna open up a lot more water. Get that going again. Let's see if I can get on the right scale here. There we go. I've got like 114, 115 milliamps going on there right now. But you notice, how much it loaded it down just putting that amp meter on. It's amazing, you know, and, and that's what should happen when you load, uh, you load an electrical motor down. It's just like that, eh? Super cool. And our pressure has dropped down to, oh, about 18, 19 PSI. So we went from that high end of the pressure there, you know, we, we dropped it down quite a bit as soon as we open up this valve here. And I close it down and I put something else on. That's so cool, it's so much fun doing that. I think it's a riot. Okay, I'm gonna take the multimeter off. And we're gonna put something else on here that's even more exciting. We've got a little puck light, an old 
puck light I had left over from the house. And I've got an LED light in here, one of those peanut type lights. And I'm gonna hook that up to these alligator clips on the generator here. And uh, even though like we're not generating much in the way of amps, we've got a nice little bit of voltage there. I want you to watch what happens here now. This is extremely cool. Let's open up our valve here. Get some flow going again. I don't know if you can see there how bright that light is. You can see my camera is picking up how bright that light is. Everybody else is going dark. But this thing is really kicking out a lot of light right now. This little puck light. So like it's generating like considerable amount of light. If it was dark out here, it would illuminate the whole area. Let's turn it, turn it back down. Throttle it back down. And we're throttling it down. Still, still got a little bit of glow there. And it's almost there. It goes, it goes out. So. I think that's just the sweetest, coolest thing going. So that's a water battery. I think it's just the coolest thing. Um, I'm so glad I did this. It just I re-remembered and learned a lot of stuff. So uh, I'm not going to uh, I'm not going to pack it in with this thing yet. I'm going to keep thinking about uh, other ways I could optimize this situation and, and do something actually maybe even useful with it. But it was just so much fun. Oh my gosh, this was just a riot. Just. Uh, figuring it all out and making it work and actually like generating a lot of power here. Um, when those buckets are full up at the top, there's a good 20 minutes runtime, like full throttle down here. So, which is pretty cool when you think about it. Anyways, that's my water battery. That was cool, man. Yeah, that was cool.